Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms, and I just received my new heavy hitch tooth bar. In this video, we're going to go ahead and put it on the tractor, talk about how it compares to the other tooth bars that I have, and kind of the pros and cons of the product. So, let me grab the box real quick and we'll get started. So, as I open this up, I'll start off by saying this is not a sponsored video. I just went on to the Heavy Hitch website and ordered this, same as anyone else would. Oh, one reason that I bought this is I've been doing a series of videos comparing tooth bars. I have the Everything Attachments Wicked Tooth Bar. I compared it first to a stock bucket. Then I, I got the B Expanded Piranha Tooth Bar and compared it to the Wicked Tooth Bar. And a lot of people had opinions or wanted to see a head-to-head -head comparison between a heavy hitch tooth bar and the other two I have. So I bought this just for the sake of doing that comparison. Wow, this thing is heavy. And you know, that's, that's really a compliment. You want something like this to be heavy built. Now, this should be a short video because I think the install on this is really quick and easy. It just slides over and and then bolts down with set screws. Man, I can't get over how heavy this is. Also, I've seen these heavy hitch tooth bars used on a hundred different videos, and this is not, as many times as I've seen it, this is not what I thought this looked like. Just as far as the size of each tooth. These are a lot bigger than I expected, I've also seen on another video that these teeth are easily replaceable if you were to damage one, which isn't the case with the other tooth bars that I have. If you damage this, it's just damaged. And it's nice that you can replace the teeth on this one. I normally always run this bucket with the tooth bar and the Atagrapple. It's a precision manufacturing Atagrapple and it doesn't interfere with anything you're doing. So I just keep it on there all the time. I am going to take it off for the comparison tomorrow, so I might as well take it off now. I've shown this before. This is super easy to take on and off. Only takes a couple minutes. So we pull the pin out of the back of the cylinder, pull this linch pin right here, and this bar slides out and the whole thing's off. Piranha tooth bar is really easy to take on and off as well. And I've been told that the heavy hitch bar is easy to take on and off, but we'll see in a minute. This one just has two bolts and slides off. Now, this now gives me three different tooth bars for one tractor and I don't need three tooth bars. So tomorrow I'm gonna do, I'll spend all day doing a comparison between these. And if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see in the comparison, I'll link my other comparison videos at the end of this and I, I'll take any feedback you have. But I'm gonna spend all day doing a comparison between how they dig in different materials and how they back drag. And then I'll probably list two of these tooth bars for sale and just keep one. As far as pricing, which is going up, I think it doubles every two weeks at this point, but you know, prices are going crazy right now. I paid a little over $500 for this on my 57 inch bucket and that was either 520 or 540 something like that with shipping okay so one thing i should have done before i set this on is take all the set screws loose so it would slide up all the way easily but i'll loosen those up now and then tighten them back down that's that's the entire installation so that's a winner clearly between the three tooth bars for easiest installation. 
Now once it's installed, on and off is going to be about the same between this and the Perona. I was a little bit hesitant on ordering this because it says up to a half inch thick bottom plate on your bucket could take this tooth bar and more than a half inch needed the heavy duty tooth bar. And mine measured exactly a half an inch or with a tape measure it was at a half an inch. But then there was a note on there that for the 220R loader, the standard bucket used the standard tooth bar. So that's what I've got and it fits on just fine. So my initial impression is that this is a really heavy built product. I think it's going to be a really aggressive digger. And I want to do a full comparison. I'm going to break down cost and pros and cons and which one is better for which task and go through all of that in tomorrow's video. But I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. I'll put links over here and in the pinned comment and in the description to our other tooth bar videos. And I'll see you next time.